Uh, welcome back to my second part of my video, guys. Um, in the first part, I was you know I was trying to show you how we, how we would have used in the absence of dependency injection, right? How we would be using the services. So we definitely need to create instance of this object right here. The way we do it, of course, we will create a constructor, and into the constructor, we just create a new instance of that object. Okay, and then once that is defined into the constructor, we would be able to use that into our, our action method, right? So there is this approach has a problem. There is a major drawback. I mean, this object, the functionality, the, the this controller should not be res it shouldn't be responsible for creating the instance of some other object. Okay? What if wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice if we can give this responsibility of creating all this dependency? For example, this is a dependency. This object is dependency of, of our controller. Our controller depends upon this object to fulfill its task. Rather than this object by itself being able to create the, ins, you know, the, you know, specify, its, create its one dependency, the whole idea about a container, whether it's a NinJet or Unity or Spring.net or whatever, whatever dependency injection you like, framework that you like to use, they facilitate us. They basically, behind the scene, they create these objects for us. We can, so that way, this, our object have no, even have no idea, hey, it has a dependency on that one. That is the whole idea, premise about these uh, dependency framework. Okay. So, how can we do something like this here? Let's say, um, instead of this being created here, I'm going to say, um, now, I'm going to specify um, my dependency here. Service provider. Now, as you can see, the constructor now takes one parameter. That, it says, hey, I have dependency on this one. It's, it specifies. This code is much, much better right now. It says any outside user, let's say they are using this one, I'm telling this guy, you will be able to create instance of this one if you, if you can provide the concrete type for this one, right? This constructor. Okay. Now I can do something like whether service provider equals to whether service provider. The problem right now, in the absence of, you know, this if I run this one now, it's gonna fail. It's gonna say, "Hey, this I have. I don't know how to create the instance of this." Uh, you will see the error is very explicit. Is it right here? No parameter list constructor defined for this object. So uh, what happens is that by default, CSR provides the default constructor, right? That doesn't have any parameter. But as soon as you have a new constructor that doesn't um, that does have uh, the, the con you know the parameterized constructor that would that would have the higher precedence. That's what he's saying. Hey, you have not really specified it, but you are saying. But I don't know how to create instance of this one. Okay, so let's figure out how to solve this problem so that you know this our object can our our code would be very very robust and very testable. And we don't have to worry about creating this dependency by ourselves. When I say ourselves, of course, it's in, I'm referring to this object here. And the framework, in this case, the Unity would be responsible for creating all of those things. Okay? Okay. To for the very first thing we have to do the configuration. To to be able to do that configuration, let's go ahead and I'll, I'm usually, you know, my I would like to say uh, infa. infrastructure those like you know those are the kind of code that I would like to my application depends upon so infrastructure inside this I want to define um, let's go ahead and define a method uh, usually either you can use inside this folder or like you know the or you can follow this pattern here you know all the code that would be executed at runtime they're putting in the application start they're putting right here. So we can do here also. We can say um, 
let's define a method here. Uh, I define uh, create a class here called IOC configurator. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make this class as a static and just going to expose the method here called configure public static void configure IOC or even like let's be explicit unity container okay uh, guys this is very uh, basic in how to do this configuration there is very advanced courses like uh, I will show you that one later, but it, like you can use it starting with the Visual Studio. If you're using Visual Studio 4.0, there is a lot of feature you can use. But right now, it's just the basic. The very first thing you need is a Unity. So, I Unity container. Let's do a name resolution. It pulls out this interface. Here. I mean, this namespace here called Microsoft Practices Unity. That's the DLL that we just downloaded. Let's call it container. And let's go ahead and create a new instance of container. Oops. Not the container, I mean to say the Unity container, okay? Let's go ahead and create instance of this guy. Okay, there's a couple of things you have to do you have to um, and once you have instance of container what we can do is um, we can um, now let's go ahead and define a method register register services okay that's what uh, these are all our services we try in these services and pass this container here Let's define a little pr a static private method here. Let's go ahead and create a private method. And all our configuration will, will be doing it right here. This object, the Unity exposes huge amount of services, uh, huge amount of public method to do uh, configuration to, uh, you know, specify the, 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 the cre instantiation of the object. So the, we can say to the container, there is a method called register types of generic version of it. We can use that method. We can we can say a register type. In the way we can do it, we can say we can specify our interface. So we have we just created a fake service here, right? We create a service called uh, i local weather service provider. I local weather service provider. Oh, my spelling. Okay, let's do a name resolution here and we'll say location local weather service provider. Okay, what, what I'm saying right here to the framework, whenever there is a need, whenever there is a need of the I local weather, when, when somebody has a need for this somebody specified our local weather service provider provide the new instance of this object right here this is very basic example you know this one is pretty easy too because if you look at this object right here um, it uh, doesn't have any any, any constru constructor that dependencies on it it's just like um, sometime you know in real life the, your 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 concrete object, your service, you know, class it wouldn't, wouldn't be that easier. Maybe it has huge, it, to create this object, you need a, you need, you might have a, you know, constructor parameter that you need to pass at one time. Those things I'll be, I will show you in, in the later video how to do stuff like that. But let's start with the very basic. This one is very simple to create instance of because it doesn't have any, any parameterized constructor, but just have a default constructor which, you know, CSR automatically provides. Okay, we did that registration. Okay, okay, once our unity is defined, then we can say a container. 